Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. Chester! When you're walking round Chester, you'll notice there's a big wall, which is a very old wall. It's more than 200 years old. Considerably more, I'll be honest with you. Um, but if you walk on the bit at the bottom of it, it's really uneven. So you're better off walking up top, but I'm rubbish at climbing, so I can't get up it. I don't think this is Grover Bridge. That's Grover Bridge. Warning, warning, warning. They have a map. They have a map. Warning, warning, warning. Chester Castle. Sadly, not looking its best at the moment. This is the back of the castle. And as you can see, it's not Romanian, but it definitely is oldie worldy and quite spectacular as we walk around the wall, the wall of Chester. Chester has a univers university, which is nice. Uh, the reason for that is because a lot of people here, as you know, uh, with universities, are not that well educated. So they have to stay at school until they're in the 20s. So this is a massive university. This is the River E, or F, but G or something, I don't know. And this is the floodplain. And I love to see carefully placed bridges, like this one, which is amazing. It goes all the way over to them houses over there. This is a bridge from another angle, which is nice. And some really horrendous buildings. They're so bad, you can hear a child screaming because he's seen them. Got a weir, which is a bit... And then, of course, we've got some bolts and a lovely white bridge. I like a white bridge. Imagine living here. Literally, a room with a view of the river A. As you know, we like statues that house seagulls on them. But this time we've got a whole building here. Oh, just knocked it off. Behind me is Coronation Street. It's not really. It's East Enderland. If you like Romanian architecture, there's some genuine Romanian architecture, other than the wall, obviously, including underfloor eating, which is there, and a walkway with stuff on it, like trees. The view from the wall is amazing. You see all these lovely uh, black and white houses with bricks on as well, because they're a bit more modern when these were built. And then you get this massive one here, which is beautiful. And more Roman architecture is there. Oh. Every now and then you get these tower things with the steps going through. Um, I don't know why, because I never liked the song Tragedy, but every time you go through them, that's all you can hear is steps. We are currently stood around about there, where my shadow is. And this is not a bridge. It's what they call a gate. But there's no gate on it. It's just a road underneath, which is weird. And then you look there and there's a gate on the gate. What's that about? The Romans were very good at looking after their kids and they built this massive sand pit in 1012 BC, probably. It's um, 2021 and it says Chester city walls repair, summer 2009 to 2010. It's 2021 and they've still not finished it yet, look. The Romanians also invented railway viaducts, but they didn't know it was for railways at the time. So they just put a wall over it that people walked over instead of trains because they hadn't been invented for another 25,000 years. You also get a view of the very first TSB bank. As you can see there, they haven't invented signage, so they just made it out of stone. That's carved out of solid rock. And those were the first ever industrial units for cooling things down. And they were called cooling down units. This building here is lovely. It might not look like it, but it's actually an artist studio. Not the building, the wall and the floor. But sadly, it's closed at the moment. So you walk down the steps, and more steps, they bring you out in Chester City Centre. There's that massive clock thing from Queen Victoria, if you remember from our last visit. 
it was made the wrong size so they put it on a pedestal to show the foolishness of the clockmaker of the time another thing about chester is the fact that it's got this weird shopping arcade which is above other shops which are down them steps which is bonkers it's like high-rise shopping center from like 1812 or something they've got a debenhams for now sadly it's closing down so here we are in the center of chester and it is beautiful always is though chester I'm not so sure about the music but the buildings are nice in the church there which has now become a pub for people to drink in and look at that building there as well 1888 <laughs> Tell you what, it's much more fun walking down these alleyways that are up in the air than it is walking down on the main street. Because there's just all these little nooks and crannies and things and weird pictures of... Oh, we can't see. Look at how bright that is. Jesus. There you go. Like weird pictures on the wall, which make no sense. And then another weird bit that's really low. And then it goes dead high again. It's all very peculiar, but I love it. Just look at the architecture. Amazing. More stairs as we go back up onto the uh, fabulous wall. And end up at the fabulous Victorian clock. This is Chester Cathedral and it's been here since the 7th century. Not this building, but a building. I know what you're thinking, how does he know all that? There's a sign there. You can pause and read it if you want. Most towns hate pigeons with a passion. They kill them and everything. Have you been to Wigan? But look, here in Chester, they build them a big house. That's nice. Next to the River Dee Canal um, is the King Charles Tower. No, it's not that. That's the Nelson Mandela Tower. This is the King Charles Tower. And it was made in memory of Henry VIII, obviously. That is the view inside the King Charles Tower, overlooking some ducks. This is a strange one, we're on the wall, and you can get a tyre for your car here, look. They've got a Michelin sign outside. That's impressive. Many years ago, there used to be a record shop on here. Sadly, it's closed down now, but it was open two and a half thousand years ago, so it did very well. View from a gates. View from a gates. Water Tower Street, ironically, has no tower or water anywhere near it. Just next to East Enders Square is this, which is a really nice building. It says on it, Ellingen Buildings, which was 1884. So I assume it was built by Richard Ellingen from uh, Trafford. The Romanian wall here crosses this Romanian road which goes to London in him, London in him, with this Romanian bridge, which is all very Romanian, which is lovely. And the locals are friendly as well. They're all honking their horns at me. That behind me, you can't have a full tower, you can have half a tower. But it's not called a tower, it's called Pemberton's Parlour, which is where the people of Pemberton used to get the food. 
It was a hell of a trek 2,000 years ago though. All forms of transport represented here. We've got roads, we've got the canal, we've got the railway bridge. Sadly, no ch nowhere to park your chariot. God, the Romans will be fuming. I take it all back, Romans. You did build a water tower. But now it's got a beehive on top of it and loads of midges. Ooh. See the local wildlife as well. That's pretty, it's a squirrel. See? Squirrel. Having a forage. Don't fall off. Oh no, he's eating. This was the site of the 1066 Olympics. See the racetrack there and the tennis courts. They were the only sports they had. Although they did involve hockey as well, as you can see from the hockey nets. The Queen's School. Have you seen the size of it? For one woman who's in the 90s. That's excessive. This is Watergate, where there was a big scandal back in the old days, back in the day. But it's also right next to Chester Racecourse, which is where they race the chariots. So there is somewhere for chariot racing. I made up for the Romans. I don't want to be critical or anything, but I don't think this is Romanian work at all. But it's a nice road and there's a church up there as well, which is always nice. I stand corrected. They race rhinos and wooden horses. Them ones in Bradford have been all good. They didn't move, so I broke in. Well, I'm really, the gates are open at the top there. Um, so I've, I'm, I'm on the racetrack. Just thought there were no chariots coming. Can you imagine that? Tacky TV presenter killed by chariot race. I'd be like one of them women things, but not. Anyway, I'm going now, I'm bored. So if you want to come somewhere that's got a wall that you can walk around, it's also got uh, old architecture and new architecture and loads of gates that are actually bridges. And it's got a race course for chariots and it's got a car park called Little Rudy. <laughs> little Rudy, I had a Little Rudy when I was little. Uh, not anymore, it's well, still little, but I'm not little. But then we've got a Little Rudy cafe as well, where they just call you, are you right, cock, every time you go in, because they're a Little Rudy. Till next time, bye! Where shall we go today, where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's walk round. There's a better view of the bridge, because the sun's going down. It's nice. This is a strange one. We're on the tower. On the... Ignore the scaffolding. The Victorian... Uh, 